Tacoma Sub 70. Two of the best direct to consumer brands out there right now, giving you great golf clubs at an affordable price. Well, in my hand, I have their utility irons. I have the Tacoma 101U utility iron and the 699U utility iron from Sub 70. Which iron is best for you and your game? Well, today in budget battles, we're going to figure out which one of these irons I think is going to be best suited for you guys. Let's dive into it. So today in regards to these two irons, we have a couple different categories in how I'm going to grade these irons. Talk about price, customization, looks, address behind the ball, how do they feel, and obviously how do they perform. So first off, let's talk price right away. The Sub 70 699U comes in at $105 and that's free shipping. So for $105, you can get a brand new utility iron, which there is nothing that even comes close to that on the market right now. That is tremendous value in terms of utility irons. Tacoma ain't far behind though. They're $119 for their utility iron. But there is a catch with it. There is $30 shipping to buy a Tacoma product. So realistically, you are spending $149. So $149 versus $105. It is about a $44 difference. If you are on a budget, that is a pretty decent amount of money. So obviously when it comes to pricing, sub 70 obviously wins. It's $44 cheaper simple as that but let's talk about customization first off let's talk tacoma with tacoma you can get a four iron three iron or two iron 23 20 18 degrees pretty standard i'd say for a utility iron out there with it you get a kbs hybrid shaft which is actually a pretty nice shaft and you get a lambkin grip which is pretty standard on a lot of direct to consumers seems like lambkin grips are kind of the go-to for most direct to consumers you also get a regular stiff and extra stiff option but that's it that's where your options end there you don't get to choose weight you don't get to choose anything more than that you don't get to choose a different brand these are the only options that are given to you there's not even an upcharge option or anything else like that so with sub 70 there is quite a few more options that you get with this club so first off you get 17 degrees so bent one degree lower than the como but you also get a 20 23 and 26 and a half degree so realistically you could go two to five utility iron in this club in regular and stiff you can get a project x hybrid graphite shaft with it but you also do have steel options when it comes to your stock options with this club but for extra stiff you don't get that option you can only get a steel shaft if you want a stock option without having an upcharge which is kind of a bummer i don't know why they don't give that option an extra stiff with stiff regular you do get a graphite option in a stock shaft extra stiff you do not extra stiff you can get dynamic gold or a kbs tour shaft but that is it when it comes to stock options from there though there is so much more customization than what tacoma offers you could up upgrade to a project x hazardous shaft you could upgrade to a steel fiber shaft obviously prices vary you know project x is about 10 or 20 dollar upcharge you can get an idella shaft which is about a 30 dollar upcharge the steel fiber is a 40 dollar upcharge but here's what i think is really cool with sub 70 is you can get a ventus blue velicor high hybrid shaft which on its own is <laughs> you find for about 150 to 200 dollars brand new you can get it added to this iron for a hundred and twenty dollars which is tremendous value out there. I mean, that is absurd value. I mean, I really like how Sub 70 included that. So for $225, you could realistically get a utility iron with a Ventus Blue Velocor shaft. I mean, and that that's just tremendous value considering some of those utility irons out there like from Titleist or TaylorMade, they go for two to $250 on their own brand new. And that's with stock shafts options. If you were to add a Ventus into that, they would charge you $200 for that most places. So you're looking at $425. So literally for half the price, you can get a Ventus and a Sub 70 head for a tremendous value. So with all that being said, again, sub 70, you win in the customization battle. There is so much more you can do with this iron. Essentially, you can build this iron any specification that you are looking for. So hats off to sub 70. I really like what you're doing with the price point and the customization you are adding to your clubs. Let's talk about looks and address behind the ball though. Now these are subjective. Obviously, this is my preference versus your preference. You might prefer one versus the other and vice versa. So the sub 70 has a kind of a bit going on I mean, it looks just like the 699 version 2 irons i mean it, it's got the grooves in it it's got the big sub 70 logo in it and it's got a thick head for when you compare the two soles of this club they are almost identical to one another i mean the biggest difference between these two is sub 70 almost has like a little bit more of a oval to it where tacoma is more straight across if that makes sense but i mean overall the head of these clubs look very similar to one another sub 70 just has kind of a, a bigger dip in its club design 
design versus the Tacoma. And for me personally, I prefer how the Tacoma looks at a dress behind the golf ball. It's just this top part of the club is much hidden. It looks like you're looking at an iron when you're going down to hit it. Where with the sub 70, you can really see this part of the club stick out. And some people might like that. It kind of gives them that look of almost looking at a hybrid instead of an iron, which if that's the look you're going for, you are going to prefer the sub 70. But if you're looking for looking at an iron at a dress, Tacoma hands down will win it for you. And in my opinion, I like how the Tacoma looks at a dress. And not just that, like I said, this is objective, but I think the Tacoma utility iron is one of the most beautiful utility irons out there. Compare this to TaylorMade, compare this to Titleist, compare this to Shrixon, compare it to Callaway, compare it to Cobra, compare it to anything out there. This is a beautiful looking iron. This is sharp. I showed my wife multiple different utility irons and I, I asked her which one did she think was the best looking. She picked this out against any other big name brand out there. So the Como Utility Iron, you, you win on address, you win on appearance. I really think this is a sharp looking club. So let's talk about feel with these two clubs. Which one of these clubs felt better to me? In my opinion, hands down, the Tacoma felt like a better iron for me. When you hit it, it felt buttery smooth. It had a really, really good feel to it. It was forgiving. I mean, I really loved how the Tacoma utility iron felt. It was a tremendous feeling iron. Not saying the Sub-70 is bad by any means. The Sub-70 actually was a very good iron. Definitely had a clickier feel to it compared to Tacoma. It didn't feel bad by any means, but the Tacoma, in my opinion, it just had a much better feel to it. Had a much better sound to it compared to the other. It just sounded really solid when you hit it. Overall, the Tacoma, when it came to feel, I would hands down prefer it. I really liked how the Tacoma felt. Now let's talk about the thing you guys really care about. How do these perform compared to one another? These clubs honestly perform quite a bit different in my opinion. So in performance in regards to the two, let's talk about the sub 70 first. So when I was hitting the sub 70, I was getting a really low ball flight. I was getting really low ball flight with generally a much lower spin rate than what I'm used to with the utility iron. I'm used to around 3,500 RPM with the utility iron. Sometimes as low as about 3,000, sometimes as high as 4,000 depending on how I hit it. But generally in that three to 4,000 range is what I'm expecting out of a utility iron. The sub 70, I was getting on average about 23 to 2,500 RPM. So it really knuckled in the air. I got a lot of rollout with it and it stayed really low. I mean, on average, I was getting almost 20 yards of rollout out with the sub 70 iron which for me was a little bit different than what I'm used to I'm just not used to that but if you're wanting that low ball flight if you're wanting that bit of more of a knuckle with your shot that sub 70 is going to be perfect for you I mean it was a much lower ball flight and it is going to just kind of soar through the air versus the Tacoma the Tacoma got much higher in the air I was getting a much higher peak height with the Tacoma and I was getting around that 3500 to 4000 rpm pretty consistently with it. With that, I was also getting more carry out of the Tacoma on average versus the sub 70, simply because the ball was in the air so much longer versus the sub 70. But I was only getting about 10 yards of rollout versus the sub 70. I was getting about 20 yards of rollout, it seemed like on most of my shots. With all that being said too, I had a hard time controlling the sub 70. With that low spin rate, with that low ball flight, I felt like I had a lot more shanks with the sub 70 than I did with the Tacoma. For me, it was a much harder club to control and the spin rate was just too low for me in my opinion when it came to the sub 70 versus the Tacoma I felt like I had a lot more forgiveness with it if I had a bad shot sure I'd lose a little bit of yardage with it but I didn't feel like I had the snap hooks nearly as bad with the Tacoma as I did the sub 70 and I felt like if I sliced it really bad which doesn't seem to happen too often but if I were to slice it it was much more forgiving with the Tacoma versus the sub 70. So yeah, when you count spin rate, Tacoma hands down wins it for me. When you talk about carry distance, Tacoma was winning it for me. Total distance, Tacoma was winning it for me. Stopping the ball quicker, which is what I'm looking for out of a utility iron, the Tacoma was it for me. And forgiveness, the Tacoma won it for me. So realistically, in every aspect of performance, 
I hands down prefer the Tacoma 101U over the Sub 70. Everything about it, just the address, how it looks behind the ball, how it feels, how it performs, everything about the Tacoma was, in my opinion, for my game, better than what the Sub 70 was offering me. When I compare this Tacoma Utility Iron, right now I'm currently gaming a Strixon ZX Utility with a Ventus HB 10TX Bellacore shaft. Obviously this club costs a lot more than what this club cost me. The shaft on this cost me more than what this club cost me. Looks, feel, performance, everything about this. This club was right there with the Strixon. I've played the title as U500 Iron. I've played the TaylorMade P790 UDI Iron. I'm playing that Strixon ZX Utility Iron. This thing is every bit as good as any of those utility irons. And I really mean that. But I mean, this club was incredible. I mean, I was blown away by this Tacoma Utility Iron. I mean, everything about it. You guys are going to love this club. I wish the shipping was down a little bit more. I wish there was a little bit more options when it came to the shaft. And let us customize it just a little bit more. Let us extend the shaft if we want to. Shorten the shaft if we want to. Bend it up. Bend it down. We have all these these options with the irons but when it comes to the utility irons it's just not an option which is kind of a bummer when it comes to this but overall the Tacoma 101U I was blown away with it it was a phenomenal utility iron really good job from Tacoma on this one and I'm not trying to be say anything bad about the sub 7 it just didn't fit the play style that I'm looking for but for $105 this is a tremendous value you will not find anything close to this value out there especially when you add in the fact that you can get a Ventus blue into this shaft and have it shipped to you for $225. That is unheard of when it comes to brand new irons. But for the sake of budget battles, which one of these irons would I choose? Even though this costs $44 more, Tacoma 101U, you are the winner. This is a tremendous iron. If you guys are looking to buy a brand new iron on more of a budget, you will not be disappointed with this iron. I promise you that. Let me know what you guys think of these irons down below. Which ones do you like the look of more? Which ones have you had better luck with? Thanks again for watching this. I really do appreciate the feedback, your comments. It means the world to me. Thanks again. Have a great day.